The South African Off-Road Championship features some interesting changes for the 2005 season. 2005 is going to be a great year in that we've leveled the playing fields. We're not having the super fast uh, class T trucks as we've got to know them for the past three years. From the desert race onwards, we've leveled it. Everybody's in the same type of vehicle. So now budget doesn't count as much, horsepower doesn't count as much, but driver ability will be the, uh, the determining factor on who wins the race and who does not win it as far as production cars are concerned. And we're all looking forward to it. The desert race will be the inaugural race for this to happen and uh, it's going to be very, very exciting. As far as the point situation goes, we've also changed the points, which uh, we've also had, a, not a problem, but one would like to place the emphasis on the overall winner of the event and not the class winners as such. The current or the old point system allowed the uh, classes much more points now only production, uh, only overall points will count towards the championships, both production cars and special, which also we feel is a lot more uh, appropriate for what a guy has achieved. The uh, pit stops or the compulsory stops now are 15 minutes at the DSPs, allowing the media and other interested parties and also the drivers a bit of a rest, but the main thing is the media can now interview them find out what's happened during the first half of the race and much more excitement can be generated that way. The season kicks off with the NORMC organised Nissan Sugarbelt 400 in Eston, KwaZulu-Natal on the 18th and 19th of March. Competitors will be required to complete two laps of a figure of eight loop and there are 22 spectator points along the route. The CPM CC organised Nissan Dealer 400 will be run in the Darling area in the Western Cape on April the 22nd and 23rd and again promises to be a tough test for man and machine. The Toyota 1000 Desert Race is the only marathon race on the calendar and is the sporting highlight of the year in Botswana. The event will start and finish in Gaborone each day, and the designated service point will again be at Manchwabisi. Crews then have a four-week break to rebuild their cars before tacking the deceptively tough Sun City 400 in the Pielensburg on July the 1st and 2nd. Off-road South Africa's Audrey Roots promises to again present a tough and extremely spectator-friendly route. Five weeks later, the championship moves to the mountain kingdom of Lesotho, where the Lesotho Off-Road Association's Lesotho Sun 400 will be held from August the 5th to the 6th. Last year's event proved to be one of the toughest challenges encountered by competitors in recent years, with only a handful of the special vehicles making it to the finish. The Mafeking 500 will take place in the Northwest Province on September the 9th and 10th, and the Mafeking Motor Club is already hard at work searching for new sections to add spice to what is traditionally a very fast and extremely dusty event. The Toyota dealer 400 won the 2004 Event of the Year Award, which is a fitting reward for the efforts of organisers, South African Motorsport Club, who also organised the Sassel Rally, and the team from Leidenberg Toyota, who ably supported the event. The organisers intend adding new sections to the route, and crews can expect an even tougher test on October the 14th and 15th. The season finale will again be the Carnival City 400 in Gauteng on November the 18th and 19th. The Kukul organised event features a spectacular stadium course at Carnival City, as well as fast open sections and a rocky mountain section, which crews compared to parts of the Lesotho Sun 400 route. <laughs>